It is a tragic day for Edmonton, and our thoughts go out to the community as we all come to terms with the senseless mass murder of eight people. Four female adults, two male adults, and two young children, one male and one female. Today, our EPS homicide detectives and multiple resources inside and outside the Edmonton Police Service have been working around the clock on three crime scenes in two jurisdictions. Yesterday at 6.52 p.m., our patrol members responded to a weapons complaint at a residence in the area of Haswell Court and 16th Avenue in southwest Edmonton. It is alleged a male entered a private residence, discharged a firearm, and fled the scene. A female was unresponsive and pronounced deceased at the scene. At approximately 8.28 p.m. last evening, patrol members responded to a call to check on the welfare of a male at a separate private residence. According to family, the male seemed depressed and overly emotional. The family was concerned that the male may be suicidal. Police arrived at the North End residence and the male was not located and there was no response and nothing suspicious was noted at the, at the residence. Further information was received and at 12.23 a.m. 12 this morning, police returned to the North End residence where they were able to gain entry and discovered seven deceased individuals. Three female adults, two male adults, two children, one male, one female. At 2.20 at a.m. this morning, EPS responded to a location within Fort Saskatchewan where they discovered a black SUV that matched the description of a vehicle believed to be associated to the first homicide in southwest Edmonton. Here, it was established that a restaurant at that location was related to the suicidal male sought in the second homicide location. This morning at 8.45 a.m., RCMP were able to establish that a male was found deceased at the restaurant location from what appeared to be an apparent suicide. At this time, I can confirm that the deceased male is in fact the same male police have been attempting to locate since 8.28 p.m. yesterday. Currently, our, our homicide investigators have established associations and linkages between these homicides. The investigation is complex and it is very fluid at this point. None of the victim, victims have been identified at this time. This series of events are not believed to be random acts and there is no risk to the broader public. And these events do not appear to be gang related, but rather tragic incidents of domestic violence. We will be following up with the media availability at 9 p.m. this evening with further information. Now I will take a few short questions. Based on our information, uh, the last mass murder of this size would have been 1956, and that was of six individuals, I believe. And the, the individuals that were in the house in the North End, do you have any sort of timeline as to how long they were dead for? No, not at this time. So, with the first call that uh, you located the car side home, would this call indicate the male was in the home at the time? No, not necessarily. There was nothing suspicious at the scene at that time. I'm sorry. Uh, why did the officers return to that home after? They they received further information, and so returned to the scene and were able to gain access at that time. Not at this time. I may be able to provide that at 9 p.m. Like I said, the investigation is very fluid. There's information coming in all the time right now. That's currently being investigated. Can you talk about the age of the I can say uh, the two children are what I would consider very young. Uh, the balance of the people at the, uh, the most significant crime scene are all middle-aged adults. Uh, that can't be confirmed at this time. We are not looking at any additional suspects at this time. 
I can't say that at, the, at this time. Like I said, very fluid. Our investigators are all, all at all those scenes right now, and I hope to have more conclusive information for you at 9 p.m. this evening. That's correct. That's all for now, folks, and uh, we'll be back here at 9 p.m. with further information. Thank you very much.